local culture meets the global community. Today on The Express. On today's show, Escapes.ca Destinations explores the food culture of Jamaica. Everybody who travels to Jamaica, that's the first thing that they want. You may have noticed the increasing amount of gluten-free food. Good for you, good for the earth goes gluten-free. But this is like it's crispy, so it's nice. The road trip visits the Richmond Oval. We like to think of ourselves not as a community center, but a high-performance center for the community. Plus, we take you inside Canada's first wheelchair-accessible treehouse. We don't focus on the uh, disability that they have. You want to treat the kids like kids. See that and more local expression. Welcome to The Express, I'm Joe Hannah Ward outside the Burnaby Art Gallery in Deer Lake Park. Up first on today's show, we're going to take you inside the Big Sisters organization. We're following along a college student to find out just how the program works. I'm a full-time student at Langara. I also have a full-time job and in my spare time, I like cooking. Angela Walkley is going to share a lot more about herself when she becomes a mentor for Big Sisters. It's something she's been thinking about for years. I had a lot of missed opportunities when I was a child and I would have loved to have something like that myself. Angela will spend at least one year hanging out with a little sister. Two to four hours once a week and of course you can be sick and go on vacations and travel and things like that. Hi Angela. Hi. Welcome to Big Sisters. Thank We're you. really excited that you want to volunteer for Thank us. Thank you. Angela's journey to becoming a big sister to a girl aged 7 to 17 starts at their house here in Vancouver. So we're going to talk about effective uh, mentoring relationships now. The orientation is a group, small group, about six to eight people. So she has a bit more information about the program and um, what is involved. Angela also goes through a screening interview. Find out, you know, what kind of personality she has, what kind of person she, she is. My interests, hobbies, a little bit of family history. So that we can best match her. With more than 100 little sisters on a wait list, it won't take long for Angela to get a match. I'm hoping that it's going to be rewarding for both myself and my little sister. We're so excited we found Angela, the greatest little sister. Her name's Amber, she's 16, lives in a similar area as her. And they're going on their first outing next week and we can't wait to hear all about it. I am excited. <laughs> Super excited. I can't wait to have my little sister. The website is bigsisters.bc.ca if you'd like to sign up to be a big sister. Angela is finished with her screening and orientation. Tomorrow on The Express, we're going to see who she got matched up with. But right now on the show, it's a match of musical proportions with the city's best up-and-coming classical musicians and the Vancouver Metropolitan Orchestra. To Esther Huang, the violin is more than just an instrument. It's her voice. I can like, I can like show all my frustration on the violin, like through my sound. The grade 11 student started playing at age three, stunning her teachers and parents by being able to recite melodies by ear. When I was in Korea, my teacher told my mom to not let me quit violin because she can see something in me. I think it's because I learned really fast and I got the setup really easily on the violin. Now at age 16, Esther is one of Canada's finest young musicians. In May, she was among six finalists in Alberta's Sheen Strings and Piano competition. Esther says it's a stepping stone to what she hopes is a long career as a professional musician. It's, I don't know, like, violin's part of my life. And if violin's gone, it's like a part of my life is gone. Most recently, Esther's playing with this group. The Vancouver Metropolitan Orchestra, an assembly of Vancouver's top new talent in classical music. This uh, orchestra is mandated actually to uh, nurture and foster young professional musicians. Our talents have been absolutely amazing. I think Vancouver is one of the best spots to spot 
young talent. Heading into its ninth season, the VMO is a chance for these musicians to develop into world-class professionals. Here, industry veterans offer their guidance, ensuring audiences are treated to magical performances every show. And we really want to make, ensure that music still carries on throughout the generation. So this is why I um, really think that this orchestra is really supposed to nurture the uh, audience and the orchestra musician. As for Esther, she's a soloist for the VMO, which means come showtime, all ears are on her. I just hope that when they hear me play, that they will be inspired or they'll be touched. I'm Tim Chung in Vancouver for The Express. VMO musicians have gone on to play in prominent orchestras around the world. To see them perform locally, you can find their show schedule online at vmocanada.com. You're watching The Express, and coming up, we have escapes.ca destinations, good for you, good for the earth, and these local stories. After the break, the BC Easter Seals camp in Squamish. I think if everyone got a chance to see what happens here, I think the world would truly be a better place. The Richmond Olympic Oval. We like to think of ourselves not as a community center, but a high performance center for the community. You're watching local TV on the Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by. The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward. 